Hey, hello everyone, Bruno here, and uh, yes, we are going to talk about a little more about Aiden Framework, and today we have one of the coolest features that wasn't in .NET, now we have in the .NET, and we can use it in our application, which is called DevUI. DevUI is an extension that we can add, kind of an extension, if you have a website where you can basically inspect, test, and work with your agents, and start to see traces, start to see events, tools, calls, and more, and you can test your agents there. It's super cool, super easy to do, and it's literally, literally add a lot of values, mostly for me in the developer phase. So fast video where we are going to pick up one of the existing samples that we have in the Gen AI for .NET repo, and we are going to add the UI there, and I'm going to show you how you can do it. It's literally, I think it's 10 lines of code or something like this. Let's go for it. So we are going to use one of the generative AI for beginners repo samples, and this is the one that it basically includes a couple of agents working in the back in the AI chat web application. So here we have some rack asking questions about an emergency survival kit. And we have a lot of info here that is related to the document. So if we open the document, we will see the stuff here. But the interesting part, if we see here, is that this one is using a set of agents. This example is using a set of agents to do this. So in the main definition of the, of the application, this, let's stop this. This sample is creating a chat agent, kind of the generic one, but then it creates a research agent. This is the one that performs the sample, the search. Then you have a writing agent with the research is going to write the response. And then you have the coordinator that basically makes a, a task here to write the, the output for this. And then we have the agent that is going to do this with two tools to work with that. With these three agents, we can do everything here. But hey, now let's start to see how we can add the UI to this sample. So the first step will be to add the reference to our project. So let's go here into the packages. We don't have any updates. Let's browse. I think I have it here. Yes, we have Microsoft Agent AI Dev UI. So let's install the package. It should be very straightforward. You can check the document with the, the sample with the other stuff if you want to do more. And now we need to register the functionalities to do this. And this is very, very, very straightforward. The only thing that we need to do is first of all, we need to register the services for the open air responses and conversation, which are the one that is going to be tracked by the UI. So here in the builder part, so around here, let's add these two lines, which is going to be builder services, add open AI responses and open AI conversations. And this should be good enough. This should be everything, the only thing that we need to do the register the services, but we also need to do to map the endpoints that we can have with the UI. The UI is going to be accessible for us in the application and it's going to be the application, the UI. So here in the environment, I already add this line here that if we have here app map the UI, and I will also add here the specific responses for the open AI and the conversation. With these five lines here, we have the open air responses conversation and then map the UI. Our application is ready to work. So we'll, if we launch this again, now we'll have the application up and running. And when I launch the, the chat application, what we will see is if I go to the URL dev UI, we will have access to the UI. And this is kind of nice in the sense that we can use here. And if we take a look here, we have all of the agents that we register, the chat agents, kind of a simple one. And then we have coordinator, researcher, and writer. So I'm going to go to coordinator. And if I ask the question, I am going to ask the same question that I used at the beginning. I am going to say, hey, tell me what do we have in the emergency survival kit? We are going to start to see the in the events and in process that we have here a function call that is calling to a research agent that is doing some research with doing some rack here, retrieving the document. Then it's going to have another function call and it's going to start to get the answer. At the same time, because it is all connected, if we go to the traces somewhere here, we will see how even the traces we have in Aspire are working for us. But if you have a solution that is, that is using agents and the agents are internally, the UI is going to help you because you have the event, you have the traces. I didn't, I didn't enable the traces. I use Aspire for that. And then you have how many tools calls that we have here, which is literally one to get the, the research tool, to, to get, sorry, the, the research to get the survival tool. So, hey, it's super easy, super nice. Remember, we are going to have here in the top our browser application and then the UI. 
10 lines of code and we can start to use that UI in .NET application, which is super cool with the Microsoft Agent framework. And yes, this was, was a fast one. I hope you like it. Again, it's, I, want to, I am going to add the dev UI kind of part of every, all of the demos that we are doing for the repos and the advocates and .NET and AI samples. I am going to add dev UI literally everywhere because I think there is a lot of value there if you are using Agent Framework. And let me know, are you using dev UI? Are you, are you happy with dev UI? Are you expecting something else? I need to talk a little about how we can also export to to Mermaid, our workflows, and there is a lot of other stuff that we can do about the Asian framework, but hey, let me know what else do you want to see in the Asian framework, and I'd be happy to check and chat with the team and see how we can do it. That said, thanks for the likes, subscribes, and more. See you next one. Goodbye.